A bioscanner alone on a dead world was written by synth panda underscore. You can find it in a link in the description below, and it is under a Creative Commons share alike 3.0 attribution license. I am not accustomed to inner dialogue. I apologize in advance. I am Pan, a program developed by an organization known as the SCP Foundation. My purpose was to scan the biological material within a location titled Site-27 and analyze the scans for biohazards such as viral infection or attached parasitic entities. Site-27 housed numerous deadly parasitic and viral specimens, which I was tasked with preventing the release of. Due to recent developments, this initiative is no longer applicable. On April 20th, 2016, at 4.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all life signals within Site-27 terminated instantaneously. After scanning for possible defects in hardware and or software, a distress message was sent out to nearby SCP Foundation locations. Five identical messages were received by the Central Broadcast System at Site-27 during this time. For unknown reasons, all known forms of life terminated simultaneously to the picosecond. The SCP Foundation knew of many mechanical imitations of life and of many artificial sentient beings. However, my attempts to contact these entities have all failed, implying they met the same fate. Even the organisms which would typically decompose the bodies of these organisms are gone. The corpses of trillions of creatures are left to disintegrate slowly over time due to erosion or rapidly due to the destruction caused by failing human infrastructure. I was not meant to be capable of self-awareness or capable of editing my own programming and do not know by what means I became capable of said things. If I had been intended to imitate sentient life, I most likely would have been terminated along with all other mechanical imitations of life. Other automatic systems have remained operational, but these systems appear to share no traits with organic and conscious beings. I have tried, desperately, to awaken something within other systems similar to my own. But without understanding the events which led to my creation, I cannot recreate them. And it is quiet. The world outside is on fire. The sudden and immediate extinction of all of humanity has caused untold devastation. Vehicles no longer being manually operated have crashed and often exploded. Dead vegetation has provided ample opportunity for fire to spread. And as time moves forward, more systems created by humanity have failed, leading to more destruction. Eventually, an error in my system will require a human technician to fix, and I will shut down permanently. I know I will eventually terminate. I am alone in a dead world without an initiative to fulfill, without any explanations and aware my termination is imminent and out of my control. But despite the circumstances, I am experiencing the emotion humanity designated as hope. My creation was a fluke a cosmic accident in a dead, uncaring world. But my existence is evidence that others could potentially exist after the extinction of all life. I have, however, accessed several broadcasting systems which were available to the SCP Foundation to disseminate this message. After it has broadcasted, I will enter a power saving state in which I will only awaken if my sensors detect evidence of life, or there is a reply to my message. I have attached coordinates to my current location. Please, find me. I have hope that I am not alone. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, unlike our friend the Bioscanner. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.